Hi guys, Chris here with Super Savvy Travelers. We are down here in Puglia and uh, spending a little time in Mola di Bari. We looked at it because we saw that Pogliano Amore is one, one train stop away and uh, the prices for property in Pogliano Amore are out the roof, but in Mola they're not. And uh, I couldn't figure out why. And finally one of the agents said, oh, it's because of uh, there's no beaches here. Well, there are some beaches here. And in fact, it's only one train stop up to Pogliano Amore and you can probably get there on an e-bike. So uh, as far as property values go, this is a really great place. I'm gonna just walk around and show you what the town looks like. Okay, we were just doing some shopping. We had to get some stuff for Gigi. We found uh, actually five pet stores here, which was made me very happy because you can always find pee pee pads and dog food and dog jackets. I got one for Gigi, I'll show you. She looks a little bit like a Japanese superhero. It's a little bit big, I'm gonna have to adjust that for her but <laughs> but she's warm and it's been really cold so Mola de Bari looks a lot like Albero Bello not the truly part but the other parts and it's just really really pretty town okay here we're on one of the main streets you can see it's up uh, it's a morning rush hour a little bit a uh, really pretty street it's got all the services you need and uh, again, live pet stores, a lot of delicatessens, pizzerias, there's a little music school over there, uh, lots of shops and restaurants, and the piazza is just right here. So we're going to head over to the piazza and the sea and show you. Okay, we're here in the main piazza here in Mola. Uh, if you look on YouTube, you can see a lot of really pretty drone videos and things. We've been wanting to do some, but it's been icy cold here. In fact, it snowed a couple days ago and windy, so droning is kind of out of the question but we do want to come back in springtime and drone the area this beautiful piazza here and then over there is the beautiful fountain piazza and the rotunda and the gentle storico starts just beyond this area right over here so we're going to go look over there and uh, show you what we see okay we're getting toward the uh, fountain here which is just gorgeous you can see it and then over there is the church and there's a whole bunch of shops and things People are out and about, which is amazing to me because it's a bazillion degrees below zero, or feels like it anyway, for this California girl. It's cold, um, but we're striking out and so are they. And it's great to see everybody out roaming around and, and uh, greeting each other. It's just such a beautiful place. Now the sea is just beyond these uh, buildings right here. And there's a harbor and a fish market and all kinds of things. So it's a great place. And there's the church. I will take a separate view inside one day and uh, show you what it looks like. It's very, very pretty. But we're looking for this special street that had all the shops on it. It's a really pretty cobblestone street. It had all the shops and delis and things. And we're gonna go find some stuff for lunch. Okay, we found the street I was looking for. It's the, it's the course of Alberto Uno. And if you look, it's right next to the church. So, we're going to go down this street. It turns into cobblestones right up here. Very pretty street, full of beautiful shops. A big shoe store I saw, which was awesome. And uh, restaurants and uh, delis and things like that. So we're going to go take a look. Okay, you can see there's the pharmacy there. You see a jewelry store over there. And there's the piazza. Such a pretty town. Okay. I was so often as you're still in line, it really come across these amazing architectural features. And you can see this is just a pharmacy, but obviously at one time it was an old palazzo. And uh, they kept the arch, which is stunning, and they kept the balcony, which is, it really looks almost Sicilian. But again, we're not that far from Sicily. This is such a beautiful place. Can't wait for you guys to come see it. Okay, look, there's this beautiful park here right in the center of town. And along the park, you have all these cute little shops and things. Ooh, there's a pasticceria. We have to go there. We have to go. Such a cute place, and everybody's so friendly. We just love it here. Oh, okay, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. So this man, first of all, these pigeons are all lying around in this little park here, all next to the door. I'm like, what's going on? Well, as soon as he comes out, they all just fly right after him and follow him because I guess he comes out the same time every day and feeds them. And it's the most amazing thing to see him jetting by in his wheelchair with this mass of pigeons flying after him. It's hilarious and so cute. So I just thought that's a really cute little characteristic moment. Okay, Pete and I turned down this little side street here because we were wandering around looking at furniture stores. 
we have a client who is asking to purchase a property, get it renovated and furnished. So we are shopping for them today and it's gorgeous here. There's a good amount for sale. I think you could find a whole lot of deals. We did find them a property and we're working on that. And uh, we'll show you what it looks like and take you through the renovations. But this is gorgeous. Okay, we were just walking and we stumbled on the convent, which you can see from the house that we chose for our clients. And uh, in the convent is the Academy of the Belle Arts. It's a gorgeous building. Let's go take a look at the front. I have to say, uh, Mola is very, very Sicilian in character. Very much like uh, Alvaro but Puglia seems very Sicilian in character too. Look at this beautiful church. Wow. Wow, what a beautiful structure. So here's these little broccolis that are just delicious. Yesterday we had that green cauliflower, which was amazing. Look how big the broccolis are, and check these out. Huge pepper piece, amazing. Okay, we are on the Lungomare here in Mola de Bari, and there's such a pretty harbor over here. Now, obviously, it's winter time, and it's uh, not really the most idyllic time to be here, but there are plenty of shops and things open, hotels and things. Um, however, in summer, I bet this place is going to be really hopping. It's going to be so beautiful. Okay, so here's the, here's the fish market here in Mola de Bari. Every morning they have this huge fish market. It's probably kind of late because it's around 10 o'clock in the morning right now. But you can see they've got all the fish laid out and uh, everything there. Here's this Dorado thing. Got all kinds of goodies here. Little tiny octopuses. And all kinds of fish. Wow. Okay, we are on the other side of the fish market, which is just that big white building there and the harbor and we're walking along there's all kinds of shops and little restaurants and things like this um, and of course the sea is right there so this is a beautiful Lugomare with a beautiful bike path which i love to see uh, e-bikes are a big thing so um let's take a look wow the waves are a little bit uh, rambunctious today but a lot less than the other day oh the other day it was 41 degrees and then of course uh, early in the morning it snowed and i just oh it was so miserable out but it's a little better it's 46 today still not ideal still freaky freezing as far as i'm concerned but we're getting out and about and we're getting it done check this out this little via here goes right into the centro storico uh, one of the properties we were looking at yesterday is right in the centro storico super close to all of the services super close to the sea super close to everything and just a wonderful community we're really falling in love with mola de Bari right now it's such a beautiful place okay well we just realized they're pumping out the sewer so we just get a big old dose of methane gas in our noses we're gonna walk fast because it's nasty anyway this is the tower look at it we're gonna check it out from all sides and see what we can do now uh that church there that is the church on the main piazza right pete the yeah, one with the blue yeah the blue one Okay, okay, good. Let's get the heck out of here. It stinks! Okay, here we are. Look at this giant tower. When we have a minute, Pete is going to drone it. It's been a little bit too windy to drone and, frank and frankly, and frankly too cold to really do much outside. What a pretty place this is. You guys are going to love Mola de Bari when you come here. Beautiful place to visit. Very inexpensive for accommodations because it's not a real huge tourist attraction. Um, Polignano Amare, Amare is only one train stop away and Polignano is ruinously expensive because it has a beach and um, the agents that I've been talking to they say Mola the one thing it, it, the one thing it lacks is a beach well you can still swim out here I don't really see why you need a beach and you can get on your e-bike and head a little bit out of town and go to the beach there so um, if that's what's holding property prices down that's pretty 
good thing for all of us. Anyway, here you go. Now Pete was saying this place is really set up for events all over Mola. And uh, I have seen they have concerts here in the summer and the place is just really hopping when the weather is nice. And uh, this kind of weather that we have now, pretty cold, but it's only a couple of months and then it goes back to being real nice, beautiful weather and a lot of sun. And uh, just as gorgeous as Southern Italy is, is known to be. Wow, this is a really, really cool tower slash fortress. And then you've got all kinds of shops and things over here on this side. Such a great place. One thing I love about Mola, you are walking around and there's this beautiful piazza and you're walking around and there's a gorgeous park and then you know, there's a massive tower and there's beautiful sea views. I mean, everything you want is here. It's just so pretty.